Hi, this is Bill, the Techno Gypsy from the Technog Mobile CP. Today we're going to talk about Tiger Tails. This is a standard amateur radio HT. One of the problems with HTs is that you only have a vertical antenna. This one's got a fairly long quarter wave, highly flexible antenna. And a lot of times you need to increase the performance of your HT. Well, you can increase the performance of any HT by completing the other half of the dipole. That's what this is. This is a tiger tail. It's a piece of antenna wire that's cut to a specific length on a quarter wavelength, and you attach it to the top of the antenna mount on the ground lug, so it actually provides the HT with a full dipole antenna or a vertical with a ground plane. First thing we're going to do is actually calculate out the length that you need and then I'll get into the specifics of how we attach it. I've opened just a standard web-based antenna calculator and in this example I've set the center frequency at 136 meg. When you hit the calculate button you'll come up and you'll find that the vertical element is 20.6 inches high and the radial length is 20.6 inches also. So now we have the length of what our tiger tail needs to be. The tiger tail is made out of a piece of antenna wire that you may have sitting around. I use flexible antenna wire that's got a pretty hard coating on the outside of it. In this example, I've actually put heat shrink wrap over the lug end and also at the end of the antenna. You can see on the actual piece of wire that I've taken the lug, one of the things you need to do is not crimp it on, but you need to make sure that you've actually soldered it on. And this tiger tail has been set at 20.6 inches with a center frequency of 136 meg because on my Waxon that I have for my HT it is opened up from 136 to 520 meg. Now when you put the heat shrink wrap uh, tubing around it you'll actually be able to pretty it up make it look like it's a production piece of wire. At the other end I also put the heat shrink tubing to cover the exposed end of the antenna lead even though you don't have a problem with 5 watts of output power on HT. Now you attach this to your HT by ensuring that you have a good ground connect and on the Waxon you've got a large area of ground plane there. The lug will fit over the SMA connector and then you attach the antenna mount on top of that. I use an adapter here because I go to a BNC connector, but you need to make sure that the antenna seats down on the connector to where you have full contact to the vertical also. You put it together and that's it. Now the tiger tail is in place. This is Bill, the Techno Gypsy, at the Technog Mobile CP 73.